What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and welcome to the first episode of a new series called Switch It Up, where we take a look at some custom mechanical keyboards and people in the enthusiast community out there to open your eyes a bit and introduce you to a whole new hobby, pretty much. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with my audience out there with, you know, the likes of Razer, Corsair, SteelSeries, all of the gaming keyboards, but toss that out of your head for a bit, because this is completely different, a lot more personal, because it's custom. I'm really into this stuff behind the scenes, and I wanted to you know, just really introduce you guys to this as well. Uh, it's gonna be a similar format to Room Tour Project, so a bit of like a slideshow, people showing off their keyboard and their submissions, even some ASMR, so we're gonna be doing some sound tests of the keyboard to so hear how they sound. If it does well, we'll definitely do more. Hope you guys enjoy it. Episode one of Switch It Up. First up is Nathan from the Teja Types YouTube and Twitch channel showing off his Key Cult No. 2 Classic Stainless Keyboard. These are very rare, only 10 of these exist in the world, and they retail for $885 and are now being sold in the aftermarket for over $2,000. And that's just for the case. So inside the number two is a red aluminum plate, and the switches are retooled Cherry MX Black switches. They were spring swap at 55 gram springs, and they are lube with Crytox 205 grade zero. Now I realize a lot of this might not make a lot of sense to you guys. If you want a different video of me detailing and explaining these terms, let me know. The stabilizers are GMK screw-ins that were clipped and lubed, and the keycaps here are BSP Peacock. Altogether, it's just a really clean and classy looking keyboard. Again, the Key Colt number two. And now we'll get into the sound test so you could hear those retooled Cherry MX Blacks. Next up is Clevier, who has a great Instagram account. It's actually how I found him and all his custom keyboards. And these are going to be the quasi builds. He has two we're going to show off. This one right here is the five degree tilt case. It is made of stacked acrylic and has a brushed brass plate. Inside, he's using the Varmillo VA69 PCB with the retooled Otemu Sky switches. His stabilizers were lubed with dielectric grease and has the bandage mod applied to them. The keycaps are XDA oblique, they're die up in PBT, and this has just been his main board day to day, he said. I just think the brass plate looks really good in the acrylic case, but we'll do a sound test of the retooled Otemu Sky Switches. Next up is his second quasi board. It is pretty much the same thing, the same five degree tilt case with all acrylic, but the difference here is the brass plate has a mirror finish as opposed to that brush finish. So it's gonna be more reflective shining through the acrylic. It's got the same Varmillo PCB, but the switches here are the Holy Red Pandas, which are the red yolk pandas with Halo True switch stems. And these were lubed with Tribosis 3204. Keycaps on this are the SA Vile Bloom. They're double shot ABS, but very thick caps. And usually, I'm not a fan personally of colorful keycaps, but I think it complements the brass plate really nicely and kind of like mutes each other out, if that makes sense. And obviously, it's not like neon or anything. It just looks really good with the brass and acrylic. But now we'll do a sound test of his Holy Red Panda switches.
Now from Cy Jansen is his Ron Burgundy keyboard. The name here is definitely fitting to that dark red case, but this one is a really nice build that comes together just really nicely. The case itself is the CA66, and again, the dark red color, and the plate is gold, which can help accent the, the badge on the bottom left-hand side of the board. For keycaps, we have SA Royalty with holy red panda switches yet again, and a nice coil red cable to, again, just complement it and fit the rest of the build. Now, I put this one after Clavier's submission where he had his lubed holy red panda switches, and the difference here, you're going to be able to distinctly tell between the lubed and not lubed, as well as the case material, which just is just some of the factors that play into how a keyboard sounds for the sound test. Now from Cohen is the LSJ Eris in army green with a carbon fiber half plate. Stabilizers are GMK screw-ins, which were also clipped and looped with Crytox 205 grade zero. And the switches inside are Gatter on ink, also lubed with 205 grade zero, but the springs were lubed with Crytox 105. The keycaps are GMK camping, which look really nice, and another color complementing braided cable. Now, one of the things to point out about this is they actually use some DIY sound dampening using a 1mm neoprene sheet on the inside to kind of dampen the sound a little bit, but ink switches are already very, very smooth. But now it's the sound test so you can hear how they sound. Then lastly from Anthong is the Fusion 60 by Vulcan. I'm digging the muted green color all around with the sort of minted accent in some of the keycaps here. And yes, the braided cable. But checking it out, inside he has seemingly a brass plate. Not too much information was provided here. And these switches are the Kale Pro Berry lubed, but it doesn't say uh, which lube he used. And the keycaps on this are the Winmix SA9009. But the Fusion 60 is a really nice case. I dig this slight geometric sides it has with the RGB light kind of underglow on the side so it's not too distracting and it's not really taking away from the overall looks of the keyboard or you know just adding any unnecessary RGB to it. But now is the sound test of the Kale Pro Berry switches.
All right, guys, so that'll wrap it up for episode one of Switch It Up. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said before, probably a lot to digest if you're not used to this stuff, if you're very unfamiliar with a lot of the terms. But if you like this, if you're interested in these custom keyboards in that whole realm behind the scenes of what you might be used to, let me know and I'd love to do more videos like this. Even have some upcoming custom builds on the channel that has uh, been taking a while, but it's gonna be a crazy, crazy build project. So let me know all your thoughts down below. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. And I'm also gonna drop um, all these specs and stuff and some of the creators that were shown off in this episode. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed Switch It Up. Have a good day.